I'm joined here today by Sabina Mazo coming off the big win, of course, over Shayna Dobson at UFC 241. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm enjoying the day with my family today. Of course. So, when did you get back from the fights? Uh, wh when did I got back to the fights? Oh, uh, when when you got back from the fights, I assume you had to fly back home. Oh no no, I live in California. My my home is now here. I mean, I am from Colombia, but um, I live in Huntington Beach, so I fought um, you know, at home. So uh, what did you do? Like just like a quick drive back on the same night? I mean, uh, what was that like? No, I stayed in the hotel with my my family. We're still in the hotel. Um, so so yeah, basically driving around, of course, going to the area I live in Anaheim where the fight was. So yeah. Okay. Do you like fighting so close to home? Yes, it was a great experience because uh, I I could have you know like everything in the hand. The gym was there. Everyone that I know, the people I, I train with was there, so definitely it was a good experience to fight home. And uh, you mentioned you had your family with you. Is that something you do every fight, have your family, or is this something that you were able to do because you were so close to home? No, I always do that. You know, they always go to my fights. They, they like to watch me fight. And it's like opportunity to bring all the family together. And uh, is that add any extra pressure, having your family watch you? We know some guys, they're a little bit nervous when they have family watch them fight. Uh, is that something that actually motivates you? No, it, it's great, you know. I feel support. It's 100% support. I don't feel pressure at all because I know they, they always support me. It doesn't matter the results, they're, they're going to be there. And uh, let's talk about the fight a little bit. It was a very dominant scorecard. I believe we had 30-25, 3-24, stuff like that. Were you expecting such a dominant performance in that fight? You know, I always want to go to a fight and dominate. That's the main thing I want to do. And, uh, and and more than that, finish the fight as well. So it was a surprise for me and somehow, like, after the fight and everything. But, um, but yes, I, I, I wanted to dominate. It was kind of uh, surprising what the, the, the judges decided to put in there. And uh, were you a little bit disappointed not to get the finish? Or were you just happy looking at that scorecard and it really showed uh, just how good you were in that fight? You know, you always want to finish a fight. I, 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 I saw a couple opportunities to do it, so I wanted to finish. I mean, it didn't happen, but it made me also realize many things that I can get better at so I can finish in my next fight. And uh, before this fight, you were coming, unfortunately, off of your first professional loss. What was the mentality like going into this fight, knowing I'm sure you wanted to bounce back and kind of get that bad taste out of your mouth? You know, totally different version of myself. I feel my the last loss helped me a lot to reinvent myself and to work a lot of things. And I think all this made it possible to perform the way I did. And I guess, and it will help me a lot in my future fights because it gave me like this power, motivation to do my best 100%. And uh, coming off this victory, I'm sure you got on social media after the fight. What was the reaction like? Did you see a lot of uh, positive reactions to your fight? Yeah, yeah, a lot of support. You know, a lot of people like the fight. A lot of people... Um, comment that they, they, they want to see me fight more often, they want to see what the future has for me, so yes, a lot, a lot of support. And did you feel you made more fans from this performance? Sorry, what? Did you feel like you made more fans from this performance? Yes, yes, way more fans and, uh, you know, always like people, different people supporting, so yes, definitely before the fight, even people were trying, they start to get to know me a little bit, so it was, it was, it was nice. And uh, was your preparation any different from this fight from your other fights, considering uh, the outcome of your last fight, or was this just like any any other preparation for you? Uh, I was a little bit more conscious, you know. I was a little bit more aware of everything I was doing. I really wanted to change different aspects of my game, of my mentality. So every time is different. Every every time after before a fight is different because it's a new fight. So uh, definitely same trainings. You know, same people I was training with, but it's just the mentality and a lot of techniques that change a little bit. And uh, what did you learn from the fight that's sort of going to help you going forward in, into your career? I learned that I can, you know. I trusted my skills a lot in this fight. I felt really comfortable, but I learned that I have to keep going. You know, I'm young, and I have to work hard a lot for what is coming and uh, as the fight's going on, did you realize that you were dominating the aspect, or is this something where you kind of had to go back and watch afterwards, or did you realize uh, while it was happening? <coughs> no, I realized while it was happening, for sure. 
dogs. I, I knew that um, I was controlling the fight. I didn't feel like in a danger zone, you know, any, any moment of the fight. And what's, what's that feeling like as you're going through the fight? I mean, I assume it's got to be a good feeling, or are you still kind of, uh, you know, you have to be careful? No, great feeling. Great feeling. I had all my people, my corners, everyone with me. So it felt great. And uh, you mentioned you had your family, you're close to home and everything. What did you do to celebrate after the fight? Um, I had nothing crazy, you know. I just um, went to the hotel. We ate something and time with family, you know. For, for me, it's really viable this time because I don't see them, you know, all year around. I just see them whenever I fight. So I try to appreciate every second to be with them. And uh, did you watch the rest of the pay-per-view? I know there were some big fights. Did you watch or uh, did you just go home and uh, sort of... You know. No, 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 I played the whole event, it was amazing, amazing fights. It was a great night, you know, all of the fights were just amazing. And uh, what did you think of the return of uh, Nate Diaz? I mean, were you impressed with his performance? Is that kind of what you were uh, expecting from his return? No, oh, I was just amazed for that, that fight, you know. Both of them left their heart there, you know, I was excited for Diaz. And uh, one of the fights that gave me more pumped, it was uh, Joel Romero. And what a fight, you know, all of them, but I, I had a lot of, um, got really excited on that fight. Yeah, it was a great fight. A lot of people had uh, Yoel Romero winning, but the judges obviously gave it to Costa. Who did you think won that fight? Yeah, I thought Joel got that fight, but, you know, Machina did a good job as well, so it could go either way. And uh, let's talk about the main event. I was watching the fight at a bar, and everybody kind of freaked out when uh, Stipe got the big knockout. What was your reaction when you saw the outcome of that fight? Yeah, you know, I kind of, um, you know, you could start feeling, you know, the, the sense of it and the control that, um, you know, she had in that last moment, you know, not in the rest of the rounds, but in that moment. So, yeah, it shocked me, you know, I, I was, I, it was a hell of a fight. It was an amazing fight. And uh, as you're watching all these great fights, do you kind of realize that your opportunity to get potentially a bonus, it goes down with every great fight that happens after that? It's, uh, what do you mean again? Uh, you know, you obviously had a great performance, you could have gotten a bonus, but as you watch these great fights, you just kind of realize that uh, the bonus may not happen because of all these great performances. Is that something you realize? Oh, yeah, as, uh... for sure. For sure, I, I, I knew, you know, I, I the first fight, of course, I, I had the chance a little bit, but that gives a lot of, you know, of, of um, potential to the, to, the, to the other fighters. I don't know, I feel... It's a great opportunity for love for all of them and for the fans because the fans can enjoy good fight after good fight and uh, that makes me push even harder, you know, for the next fights. And so what's next for you at this point? I mean, this is obviously a big victory. What's next for you in terms of uh, your opponent and what, what you're going to do in this division? Keep training, you know. I want to keep training. I just started training today and, uh, just, you know, whoever is in the division, start climbing all the way up. And how do you feel physically? Do you have any injuries coming off this fight, or how do you feel? No, I feel great. I feel great. No injuries. I'm, I'm totally fine, thank God, and, and I'm ready to go. And uh, do you have an idea when you'd like to return to the cage? No, I'm not sure. I haven't talked to my team yet, you know, because we want to, you know, change a little, a lot of things from, from my game, a lot of things that could be better. So I want to focus first on that and then decide when to fight. And uh, did you have a chance to rewatch the fight, or have you still not had a chance to watch it? Yes. No, I actually watched the fight already. The, the, the day after the fight, I watched it. I saw a lot of things, you know, from mistakes that I did. Um, rather than just, like, the positive things, I saw a lot of things I could work. So it was good. It was good. And uh, when you rewatched the fight, was there anything that kind of surprised you? Maybe something you didn't realize while you were fighting? Or was it pretty much what you expected? No, you know, just... Um, a lot of techniques that I could do, you know, uh, moments that I could finish the fight. So I was kind of reading, you know, all the, the, the movements I was doing. All right, and I just have one more for you. Let's say the UFC and everyone, they tell you that uh, you get to pick out your next opponent, whoever you want to help further your career. Who would you want next? Anyone, you know, it doesn't matter the name for me. I, 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 I'm a believer that the champ has to has to fight with anyone in division, you know, they have to be able to, to fight whoever it is in there. All right, well, thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Thank you very much.